Hello guys, I am back and I'm doing another product review. I purchased I purchased this sandals right here last week or previous week and I did an unboxing. If you haven't seen the unboxing, then go ahead, check it out. But today we're going to be mainly mainly focusing on about this sandal right here. So this is the Hermes Oasis um block sandals uh here you go so i use this for half day even though i only use this for a half day 1 p.m to 8 p.m there was a lot of walking on that activity so i can give you the exact the exact um review the accurate review how i felt and how is it when using this for for like walking which is you know, if you think about it, wearing heels while you're walking a lot, it's too much. So this this brought me from point A to point B to point C to point D because I went far with these sandals. So if you're eyeing on this and if you're planning on getting one but you're very unsure, then probably this review will help you. So I would suggest to keep on watching. So first, first thing is we're going to talk about the sizing. So my size, regular size is 37. That's what I got. Um, that's that's my size with the Hermes Oran sandal I have. It's 37. But for this sandal right here, sandals, for these heels right here, I picked 36 and a half. So when it comes to the length of it, like the length, it made me doubt whether I've picked the right size because um the length is too tight while the width is already perfect keep in mind if you get um if you get the larger size then the width will also get bigger and since this is heels your foot will be pushed forward so the wider this um the wider this thing right here then it's gonna be it's gonna push your feet more forward so that was my issue because my feet is very narrow so i would say that 36 and a half is right for me but there's no room there's no extra room for your foot so it's really like edge to edge you know if i'm gonna compare um hermes oran and this sandal right here when it comes to how substantial that I the sandals is the Hermes Oran is very heavy this one is like feather it's very light and comfortable so the thing about Hermes Oran I never even review that item is it's size 37 so the width is too big for me so if I walk carelessly it will end up like coming off my foot so and uh it's not really comfortable because it's loose but this one right here 36 and a half is the right size because the width is perfect for me so it really holds well on my on my foot i like the textured material compared to the plain one it's because the textured you won't see any creasing i've used this for a couple of hours and there's creasing but not as obvious as the um, Hermes Oran. It was a um, very plain material, plain without texture. And I, I don't know why I bought that just for the sake of having Hermes, I guess. And it was popular. So um, I'm not really enjoying my Hermes Oran. This one right here is very light. Uh, material is good. And the color is my favorite. As you can see, this is very unintentional. And so happened that it looks, the color looks the same as my nail color. <laughs> And it's creepy. And then the heels, that's uh, dirty. This is the heels. And um, the heels is kind of weird because it's kind of, there's a texture. It's odd that it's not colored. It's too raw. You'll see gray right here. Or I don't know, what is this brown gray? And then on the bottom, there's a little bit similar color to the top. So they try their best to match the heels, but without that gray color, it's going to be very odd and very raw. So we have here two items, same brand, but this is the Uran, the flat one, and this is the heel. So as you can see, the material, the Uran is not textured. It's really plain. 
while the other one is like caviar. So you see there the creasing, the oran has more prominent and very obvious creasing compared to the um, to the oasis and this one really this one is really heavy i got 37 i should have gotten 36 and a half well it's really when it comes to buying like brands it's just sizing it's just confusing and it's really scary because once you start using them then then you suddenly decided that it's not your size then what else can you do when you cannot return it anymore right so let's proceed so this one right here is made in made in italy same as the Hermes Oran. There you go. Same as the Hermes Oran. So the bottom, the bottom is very soft. Um, so it's very light. And uh, did it give me any blisters? It did on the up on my right side of the foot. But overall, in general, it was very comfortable walking for hours. The only thing that I would say a concern was this one right here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it opened. Can you see that? See that? Um, so the bottom is not as durable as I thought. Maybe because that's why it's very light. That's a trade-off. You want light material, then you'll get a flimsy bottom. So it opened. I don't know, but it's not really something that I'm really worried. Um, I could have went to a cobbler and have them sell, sell it. Sell. So maybe I should do that because just based on this, right? Based on my experience with it, juicy using half day but intensely then this part right here opened not sure if the camera is picking it but there you go that is the that's what i got from half a day walking and there's a lot of like stabs like deep deep cuts from probably um broken glass or it could be a broken glass or stones so i would just suggest to go to your cobbler and have them resell it so it lasts the item lasts longer but if you don't mind if you don't mind having this part right here bare then that's okay but like i've said um the bottom is a bit flimsy i would say that uran sandal I wish I had the right size for me. This could have been the best purchase. It's because it's the material is really durable. It's really heavy and hard, which I like. It looks durable. It feels durable. This one right here, the sandals, this is the price is higher. It, I think I paid 800 or 900, including tax with this one right here. So it's, it's expensive. It's comfortable though it's comfortable but the sole is flimsy so you really need to see your cobbler for that okay if you want your item to last longer or don't don't copy what i did which i walked i walk like a maniac i use it like a sneakers so that's that's partly my fault but because we want to test it how comfortable it is for ours so this is guarantee very um comfortable i got blister on top of one of my like like right this one right here on my foot but i didn't felt any pain i only knew i had a blister when i look at it but there it was no pain pain free at all material wise like the sole is not really worth 900 or 800 bucks but how comfortable it is how light it is it is worth the purchase you have to consider two things one is the length and the width so even though the length looks like your right size or you might want something like a little bit of room to uh, wiggle or move but always consider the width because the width is a big deal if the width is bigger than your um foot then it's not gonna be comfortable when you walk so keep that in mind so i guess that's it guys if i haven't 
if I haven't, if I've missed something, then you can just leave a comment in the comment box section and I will get back to you. So until then, see you next time. Don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. See you on my next post. Bye.